Imagine a time when humans couldn't even imagine flying. What if I told you the first successful flight wasn't a single attempt, but a culmination of failed prototypes and hard lessons learned? Join us as we explore how failure led to the first flight and ultimately shaped modern aviation. Welcome to Histavines, where we dive deep into the stories that shape history. From the greatest breakthroughs to the forgotten failures, we bring you the untold tales. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a historical journey. The Dream of Flight Humans have dreamt of flight for centuries and while ideas like Da Vinci's flying machine existed, no one had succeeded in creating a flying machine Early that works. By the late 19th century, inventors like Otto Lilienthal in Germany and Samuel Langley in America were making serious attempts at powered flight. Langley's aerodrome, a failed attempt in 1903, crashed before it could take off, showing just how difficult human flight really was. Otto Lilienthal, known as the Glider King, made successful glider flights, but tragically, his crash in 1896 was one of many early failures in aviation history. Orville and Wilbur Wright The Wright brothers weren't the first to dream of flight, but they were the first to make it work. They spent years building and testing multiple gliders and powered prototypes, facing countless failures. Their first flight attempts between 1900 and 1902 were plagued by control issues, poor engine performance, and lift problems. They didn't give up though. By 1903, after testing five different aircraft prototypes, they had perfected a machine that could actually take off, stay in the air, and land safely. The Wright Flyer made its first successful flight on December 17, 1903, covering just 120 feet in 12 seconds. The Wright's Prototypes Their earlier planes failed because of problems like engine malfunctions, insufficient lift, and weak frames. For example, their 1900 glider had poor control and couldn't fly for long. The 1901 glider was a significant failure, it was so bad that the Wright brothers considered giving up but they used that failure to tweak their designs and improve. 1902 glider? This one was the turning point, it was a success, and the brothers were able to control it in all directions, but they still needed a powerful engine to achieve powered flight. The Wright Flyer wasn't perfect, and its first flight was brief, but it was the culmination of years of failure. The brothers' breakthrough came from understanding aerodynamics, control surfaces, and creating a reliable engine. By 1904, they were able to make flights lasting five minutes traveling over a mile, but they kept improving their aircraft designs, eventually building planes that could stay in the air longer and handle higher speeds. Despite facing criticism and doubt from other inventors and the public, the Wright brothers were persistent, knowing that each failure was one step closer to success. The Wright brothers' success was a game-changer for aviation, but it didn't mean they stopped improving. They continued experimenting with more powerful engines and better control mechanisms. Other aviation pioneers around the world, including Glenn Curtis and Louis Blériot, built on the Wright brothers' ideas, creating commercial aircraft and military airplanes. The first flight was not a singular achievement, it was the result of numerous failed prototypes, relentless trial and error, and a deep understanding of aerodynamics and engineering. From the Wright brothers' failures to their groundbreaking success, the story of flight is one of perseverance. The first flight was just the beginning, and the road to aviation greatness was built on learning from failure. Want to know more about how aviation changed the world? Hit that like button, subscribe, and join us here at Histavines for more history that's waiting to be uncovered.